Hello everyone. Let's move on with the third pillar of exposure. Shutter speed. I know you would be interested to learn this as many times this is one of the topic which as a photographer you would be beginner you would be challenged to do with. What is shutter speed? Two words shutter and speed. Shutter refers to the mechanism which is in front of the camera sensor. Basically it allows light or block light. Speed refers to how fast a job is done. Say example, person X, person Y, they are traveling from point A to point B. X reached first, Y reached second. Who is fast? X is fast. We measured with respect to time. That's what we are intended to say in shutter speed. The sensor is open to light for a particular duration. How much of time it's open is defined by the shutter speed. One second, one second, the shutter is open. Two second, two second, the shutter is open so as to allow the entry of light. Theoretically, this is what is shutter speed. Now let's move on to practicals. We are going to shoot at one by 30th of a second, this moving object. One by 30th of shutter speed, if you see the moving object, you can see the blur, motion blur. So let's increase the shutter speed and tick again. Now we are at one by hundred of a shutter speed. And let's take an image. One by hundred. If you observe this, still we have little bit of motion blur. It means this shutter speed is not sufficient enough to freeze this motion. Let's increase further. Now we have moved to 1 by 200th of, of a second and let's shoot. 1 by 200, we are able to get this particular moving object freezed. You can see the strings are sharp and clear. So if you want to freeze a moving object, you must increase the shutter speed. And that's the key, always you should remember whenever you capture if the subject is in motion. In TV mode, we have shutter priority. We set the shutter speed, camera decides the aperture. ISO can be either set as auto or you can manually set any value. If you want to make your picture overexposure or underexposure, we must do exposure compensation, similar like what we have done in our P mode and in our AV mode. When you do that exposure compensation, like towards a minus side, if the picture goes underexposed, towards a plus side, the picture can be overexposed. This is a must to make your picture exposure adjustment in priority mode like TV mode. So what are the key points what we have learned today? Shutter speed, it's the third most important pillar in exposure. Shutter speed is measured in seconds unit of time. Shutter speed is the most important factor to be considered when you start shooting moving objects. If you want to make exposure under or over in priority mode like TV, you have to do exposure compensation. Fifth, as we always say, you have to practice. So practice well and I will see you in the next episode with an interesting topic. Till then, Take care guys, goodbye.